Hello guys, my name is Shane Johnston and today I'm going to show you how to create your own 3D printable object and then apply your own your own symbol, logo, basically anything you want to it. And uh, kind of like have it as a design on your 3D print. It's very easy to do, it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's, trust me, very easy to do. I learned in like two hours how to do this, total. So uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to need to have this website loaded up called uh, Tinkercad, T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D. And uh, what this website allows you to do is basically build your own 3D printable object with like, it's kind of like a block building type of deal where you can have like squares and all that different stuff. Anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do is... Uh, well, I already have one started, but uh, you're going to need to click Create New Design. And uh, I already have one started, so I'm just going to go ahead and click. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Oh, oh sorry guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scroll down here and uh, click on this one. Because this is one I'm, I'm that's already opened. And uh, scroll down and uh, click Take Care of This. So what you guys would do is you would click Create New Design and uh, it would just be a blank slate. I'll show you what I mean by that in a few minutes. Anyways, so um, when you guys started out, it would literally just be this blue this blue square right here. This blue square right here. And uh, anyways, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna right click and drag to move around, right? So uh, I just started this one because I already had all my stuff loaded up. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to make sure you have your item. And uh, I was having a little bit of problems with the website, so that's why I clicked on this one because I knew it would work. So uh, I already have my square. I'm just gonna do it for tutorial purposes. But anyways, as long as you have your any item, I just like doing squares for tutorial purposes. Like at the end of this, I'll show you what I did end up building, or what I what for this class, and uh, I need to get a mark on it. So uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is to have your uh, your have your uh, three D print made in Tinkercad. Second thing you need to do, second step, is you're gonna need to go on over to Google and you're gonna need to find your logo. So like nothing too strenuous, something like relatively easy, like a logo like this is pretty simple. It's like an M and a V. It stands for Miramichi Valley High School, which is the high school I go to, Miramichi Valley High School. So well, what you're gonna need to, do, need to do, sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick, is you're gonna go right click and uh, you're gonna save. I'm sure you guys all know how to do this, like. This is like a skill you'd learn in like middle school. So you're gonna save image as, and uh, save it to your desktop, okay? Or anywhere, honestly, as long as you remember where you save it to. So I'm just gonna save it as, I'm just gonna save it as MVHS, oh, I didn't even click. There, there we go, MVV. Actually, I already have one saved as MVHS, so I'm just gonna go MMVV. You can save it as whatever you want, honestly, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's this JPEG and uh, save it to your desktop. Okay, good. So now on to the third step and uh, out of the four step process, I suppose, is you're gonna wanna hop on over to this website called PicSVG, which takes your pics, your um, JPEG files, or my JPEG file, I suppose, and uh, it's gonna convert it into a .SVG file, which, uh, see, I already have mine loaded up. But um, what this allows you to do is SVG dot SVG is a tie, is a is a file type that is a that can be read by 3D printers, if that makes sense. So it's like you can have your uh, like I could have my MVHS dot SVG and I could put it and I could like it would be read by a 3D printer and I could 3D print it. It's like the 3D printer understands that. So anyways, what you're gonna do? I'll just refresh from here. If you wanna go on desktop, you're gonna wanna scroll down. And uh, you're gonna want to find your my MV thing, so I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna be the exact same thing because I just had it opened up. But uh, anyways, details, SVG color doesn't matter. Details, I prefer strong. I just want it a little bit clear. Uh, this is your filters is where it's gonna get thing. Uh, you can play around with these. Like inverts aren't very good quality. I usually prefer Ready Three. It's probably the clearest one that you can see how clear that is. Anyways, this website's very easy to use. There's not a whole lot you can do on it that to mess anything up, but uh, you can always restart, refresh. So uh, now what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to click download image.svg. 
So then that one, you're gonna reload it, or um, rename it, not reload it, sorry guys. And I'm gonna save it as MV, oh, sorry I bumped into you guys, as VG. And uh, it's gonna save to my desktop. And now I'm gonna click save. And uh, I already had it saved, so I'm just gonna replace it, yes. Now you're gonna go, now, on to the fourth step, and uh, yeah, final step, and uh, is you're going to go back into Tinkercad, so it's basically three tabs, three websites I suppose, that you've used. You're going to click import, which is right up here, and uh, so you're going to click import. Import shapes is going to pop up. You're going to click this blue button that says choose a file. So you click choose a file, and you're going to scroll down in the on your dot on your desktop. You're going to find oh. I went down too far. I didn't. Oh, it glitched back up to the top. You're going to go ahead and find MV SVG. So that's going to appear. Your art, when you center on art, that would mean your actual item you've made. Your art board is your blue work plane. So that blue square down there, guys. So basically, the first. Well, I'm just going to pick art board just so it'll center like neatly. And then your scale is basically how big it's going to jump in, and then your dimensions. It's like the length it's actually going to be. Dimensions are measured in millimeters on this website, so it's pretty hard to get a grasp on how, how big 660 millimeters is. So uh, since I've done used this item before, used my uh, logo, I put it on my actual project, which I'll show you again at the end. I know it's going to be, it's a big picture, so I'm just going to put it down to 10, cause, just because that's what I used for my first one. You're going to click import. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. But as you can see, it imported, and it's just going to appear in the, like I said, center of your work plane. So there, as you can see, it turned out pretty good. So now, you're just going to have to do some of this editing process. So you're just going to rotate around. You're going to click, and uh, see, see how you got like a, you hover over right here, and you can, you can rotate. So I'm just going to go 90 degrees, so it's operate, and this little it's like a black arrow at the very top you can use it to raise there we go zero is level with the work plane so as you can see it's still pretty big for our, our blue our red block but as you can see it stands out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the red block a little bit bigger and a little bit longer and um, basically you can have it like that you can always click on your did not mean to do that, guys. You can always click on your your MV logo or your any logo, not just MV logo, and uh, change the color. So if I wanted it to be blue, because I like blue, you could have it as blue, and um, you could have it as like an outdent. I suppose that's the right word on your project. You could have it as, a, as an indent, and to do an indent, like a not really an indent, but like kind of like an engraving, I suppose, which I've done on my final project. You click hole. And what hole does, it kind of makes it transparent, right? And uh, you can, buy, if you look at the width, just hold it here, it's 10 millimeters deep. So basically, when you drag it down, or you can drag it back, just make sure it's level. You can, like, look at it from the side, like, very click, drag over, make sure it's, like, in line with the side. Make sure everything's, like, lined up good there. There, that's lined up. And then if you drag it back out, it's hard, it's kind of hard to look at. Actually, I know how to fix it. So that that's when that prints, it'll have. Sorry, I bumped into you guys again. All it'll be like flush with the side, and it'll be like an engraving. But uh, I'll, I'll show you guys a better example of this. Just gonna. You don't have to worry about doing this. But um, there, as you can kind of see. I don't know if I can get any closer than that, but uh, let me see if I can get any closer. As you can kind of see, see how it kind of like indents there? Or in, it kind of looks like an engraving, I suppose. It's Once again, the scope is not the best of quality, guys, I'm sorry. But um, just, you're gonna, you can always, it'll be better on your own computer screen. But um, it's designed so like the, the, the V kind of sticks out, and then the M kind of indents. So I personally really like the way it looks. So anyways, once you got it, I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup these, just so we can get back to it. So basically, 
Now that you got that all set up and everything's in your thing, you can go ahead and click Align, which is right beside the Group button. So right here, Align. You're going to click on that, and then you can basically, so that'll put it top and bottom aligned, and then this little black, I'll adjust so you can see it, this little black dot right here will put it in the middle, so you can have it like, you just want it to have like your block with an MV logo on it, there you go. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all you need to know, and then, like I said, if you just want to group the two items together, you can highlight. And just above, just beside the align button, there's these. This like it looks like a circle and a square connected. You click on it, and uh, it'll group them together. And then if you click, it'll it helps you get a better idea of what it looks like when it's what it's gonna look like when it's 3D printed. And uh, yeah, guys, now I'll just go ahead and I'll show you what my final project was. So uh, I don't. It doesn't matter if it saves, but it, this whole website it saves everything automatically, which is pretty nice. You don't have to worry about saving anything. So uh, now we're just going to go back here to the menu, but just by clicking on the Tinkercad logo up in the corner. And uh, now let me just scroll down and I'll show you my final project. So uh, my final project, I don't know why it was saved as Dazzling Bojo, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to give you guys, I'm not going to give you guys any sneak peeks. So I'm just going to click Tinker this. And uh, this was made with... So this right here is uh, I used uh, I used the steps I just showed you, and then the top part was a little bit more strenuous. But uh, like I like I showed you, you can do your text, you can do your text indent, which is the exact same way you do your logo indents, because there's a text feature built in. And then uh, I did the numbers, same way you do text. By the way, guys, if you didn't know how to get text, you just scroll down underneath the shapes and drag in some text. And uh, this is actually a bust of my head that I uh, you made using a 3D scanner we have in our class. And uh, the torso I had to do some improvising about because uh, there was a bunch of holes that were appearing in it. But uh, overall, I think it turned out really well. I have it 3D. I have it 3D printing. It's sitting in my class, just back over there. And uh, yeah, it turned out very well. The 3D printer did a great job. It, pl it printed in like translucent filament, so it's not. It's, it doesn't really do it justice, but it does look very nice still. Anyways, guys, I hope this tutorial will uh, help you when you're making 3D prints. And, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Bye.